Hello everyone. Uh, so today we will talk about the event concept. When we hear about the concept, maybe in your mind there are some understandings, and some definition of your own before about the event concept. Um, maybe it's quite very hard. It's been very difficult for all of you guys um, to have a good definitions about that. Uh, so. This is my definition about the concept. I would like to show all you guys here. First of all, concepts is the core idea that dominates on of the aspect of an event. So this is the core idea. You know that's core, that means the central idea that will have a huge impact on the others. So the features of event concept, so there are two features. The first one, this is about the general is the general things, not really specific, and it will orient the others yet to follow it. And the concept, uh, in my opinion, it can be seen as a spinal cavity. It, you can imagine that. So here's the image of the spinal cavity, its structure, our body, and then it's the inside. We cannot see it. So, in summary, concept is something really inside. We cannot see it. We cannot show it. We cannot express it. But we can use the idea to express it clearly. For example, when we mention about love, what do you think about? I will spend uh, some seconds for you to think about that. What do appear in your mind about love? So when we talk about love, you can see that, okay, you will hear that this is about pink, something pinky. The next one, this is about the, the special love between a man and a woman, a boy and a girl, something really sweet. You may even think about that, okay, people, they are kissing to each other. So you will think about kisses. Uh, you will think about romantic uh, melodies, romantic uh, music, romantic songs. You will think about chocolate. Uh, this is quite popular for the, uh, for the couples. And the final one, you may think of the Valentine's Day. So um, this is the things I need to emphasize that so concept activates the dreams of the ideas. So when I give you a concept in your mind, so you will brainstorm a lot of things. A lot of ideas will be streamed yet yeah, towards the concept. And here's an example about the event outside that choose love a concept and how they develop it. You can look at on the screen now. So these are the pictures of the Valentine's Day of close-ups. And close-up is quite familiar to all of us now. And uh, it is a famous brand in Vietnam. And annually um, on Valentine's Day, they uh, hold an event about love for couples. First of all, you can see that uh, a lot of things relating to love uh, on the screen. First of all, that is the place for people to express their love to the other. And they also have uh, the, uh, the symbols of the heart, the heart, yeah, right? So on the screen, you will see that. So there are lots of couples there uh, in the event and uh, they also invite some celebrities uh, to join their event. And this is the concept about love, but they have a lot of ideas. So first of all, the ideas of the photo booth. The, the photo booth, so they, they designed uh, to make people that, okay, this is the photo booth here for the couple to show their love to each other. The second one you will see that's a lot of balloons yeah, right, for the decorations uh, of uh, the event. The second one, all the activity, so you see that the activity for the couples is also about love. And the final one, they also um, invited uh, love 
couple that means some hot couples now Dong Yi, Ong Ka Thang to be invited yeah, to be in the show they are the hot couple now in the show bit and everything so they focus on love concept it's quite clear to all you guys I hope that uh, this is an event in our school Indy Indy night uh, when when you heard about Indy so you will think about the youth you will think about uh, something really uh, simple, something uh, really young, and uh, something really attractive to the audiences. So the organizer uh, of the event, they choose two works for the concept, the main concept of the event. The first one to see mom. Mom means simple, something really straightforward, something really simple you know, for the event and the second one the second the second word is about chill uh, chill is a fam familiar word to all of the young generations nowadays uh, sometimes you hear that okay i want to use out with my friends so the atmosphere is so chill something like that and they choose the concept is the core values of the event and how can they develop it um, you can see on the picture, so the way they decorated uh, the event. First of all, so the, the pictures here, uh, you will see that so they use the wooden frame, the wooden board. Uh, so it symbolizes for mob, simple. And uh, you will see that so they don't decorate much on, this, uh, on the, the, the wooden board like that. Uh, to follow the theme. The second one is about the atmosphere for, I mean the space, the, the seat for the audiences. So they, uh, they, they don't use the, uh, the chairs you know, for the organizer, they didn't use the chair for the audiences. So uh, there are two parts in the, uh, in the place of the audience. So the first part, as you can see, that's so, how uh, they sit on the ground and uh, the half one, so they use the bar table, so uh, the audiences, they uh, can chill, they can enjoy the, the music, they can listen the music, they can talk with their friends, uh, talk with their family members when they, uh, when they chance the event and enjoy the music. And you can see that, so the background of the in, in, in the music, so in the night, the name is Yao Nai, and it's quite simple uh, to, to make uh, everything um, relevant to our concept. And uh, based on the two examples, you can see that um, the concept will dominate and will um, he will have a huge impact on everything surrounding. And here is the thing you need to remember. Concept can be familiar, but ideas have to be distinctive and creative. Concept, there are a lot of, um, for example, the concept about love. Love can be really uh, familiar to all of you, can be really general and uh, quite close to us, but the idea we hold the event is quite different. Why I have to say that? Because one of the characteristics of the event, the first one you can see that, so they are often once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime experience for the participant. That's the reason why I have to say that so it can be really creative, different, and distinctive. Uh, for example, let me close up every year, uh, they hold the event for the couples. But every year, so you, you join the event with different experiences, with different features, different decoration, different uh, activities for the participant. Uh, the next one, I also remind all you guys that so the, the other characteristics of the event include they're really expensive to stage, uh, to hold an event uh, following your idea, following your want, following your expectation, so it will cost a lot of money. Uh, the next one, they require long and careful planning because we hold the event 
It's not just for fun. You are doing the branding. You are doing something great for your organization, for your firm, for your company. It's a, also the image of yourself to the society, to the public, and it can enhance your competitor's advantage in, in the public uh, to touch the competitors. Remember that. This, the next one is about they generate take place only once and they carry the high level of risk, including financial and safety risk. Uh, the next lesson, the following question. So I will talk about the safety and the fin finance more clearly uh, to all of you guys. When we have the concept in your mind, uh, how can we develop it? So this is the next part of our lesson today, developing the concept. To develop our concepts, so there are some keywords for all of you to remember. First of all, the purpose of the event. When you have the concept inside your mind, think about the purpose of your event. And uh, the purpose and the concept must be relevant to each other. The second one is about the theme of the event. The theme of the event, so I will show you some kinds of pictures later yeah, to make it more specific. Venues of the event, event audience, financial consideration, timing of the event, event team contractors, and other stakeholders. So now take a look at the first one, the purpose of the event. There are lots of purposes of um, holding some event. So the first one can be you see that so information to inform something. So to this kinds of the um, event, you can see that to some brand, to some companies or organization, they want to introduce um, a new product. Uh, they open uh, a new brand, a new branch, yeah, right to. Uh, the public, so they really want to do the event you like to introduce yeah, to the public especially for the informing purpose. The second one is about the entertainment. So a lot of events nowadays you can see that so uh, they hold it yeah, right, for entertaining people like the concert, like some uh, music concert and uh, some kinds of entertaining show. And uh, some events so they they hold it yeah, to get profit. Uh, for example, uh, some kinds of events, so they, uh, they hold it yeah, right, to sell the tickets, yeah, to get the profit, to get the revenue for themselves. And the final one is the community. The community is uh, we serve for some uh, group of people I mean, uh, outside the community to uh, help them, to encourage them uh, to make their life, to make their life become better. And uh, when we uh, think about the, the purpose of our event, so we can link it yeah, right, to the concept yeah, right, to have a, the most suitable event to the society. The theme of the event. So uh, don't, uh, don't think that so the, the themes of the event and the concepts of the event this is the one thing. No, it's not right uh, in that way. When we talk about the themes of events, so you can see that um, most events adopt a color theme that is repeated on the item products for events like ticket, uh, uniform, decoration, poster, and merchandise. So it means that's when you have the concepts of the event, so you need to define the theme of the event. You choose the color for your event, the main color for your event, and all the surround uh, surrounding features yeah, for your event as well. First of all, like um, the, the colors of the event, for example, our university, Hofflet University, so we have the main colors, as you can see, that's all the red and the yellow. Uh, so it means that if you are the agency or you are the organizers of our school event, so you need to think about the, the colors of our school yeah, right, to raise Range awareness of our school when we hold the, the huge event outside yeah, to PR of our school. And all of the things, uh, this is the color. The, the second one, maybe it's about the music. 
you choose uh, the the sale you choose year for the event for example to me if your event is about something about the history so you need to choose the suitable music a strong music um, a histor uh, historic music yeah, right for the event so um, you need to make sure about the suitabilities of the music you choose yeah, to the event concept. And we have more, uh, more theme uh, you can choose. It's about the historical, geographical, or cultural. Uh, the theme must be about the sporting theme, music, and entertainment, and so on. For example, when you, uh, when you have the concept of about the sport, you would think that so sport is very strong, it's very energetic. And when you choose the theme uh, relevant to sports, so you would think about the athlete, you would think about the strength, you would think about the energy, you would think about um, something really powerful, you know, right? Uh, to to make people feel really ener energetic when they see into your event. And the other thing, like artistics and food, objects like flower, animals, and boat. So everything you choose you for the decor decoration. So it must link to the event and the concepts as well. All of you need to remember it. So here is the examples about the theme. Uh, as all of you guys can see, that's all. This is the indie um, indie night event of our um, department students. So they 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 hand. Uh, this event uh, last semester and uh, here are the themes of the event so they choose the colors the colors in the dark purple uh, the white uh, the white purple is the main colors of the event and you can see that so they uh, design something you can stick to your shirt uh, the ticket and also the, the banners of the event. So it's quite linked to the main colors of the event. And you can see that the fonts they use yeah, right, for the text yeah, is also something uh, really young, really energetic yeah, right, to suit the youth. The next one, when we talk about, after we talk about the purpose of the event, so now this is the time for us yeah, to consider as much about the values of the event. The venues of the event once again have to follow the main concepts of the event as well. Uh, like uh, the first example, like uh, the first example I give to all of you, um, close up chose chose the venue for their event. Um, it is it was held in District Seven, District Seven. So District Seven. So you have Bangwick Lake and near the Crescent Mall. This is the place. Um, all of the, the couples, they, so they gather there. This is the, also the, the reason yeah, right, for choosing that venue yeah, for the event of Close Up. Uh, here are some criteria uh, all of you guys need to remember when uh, thinking about, when searching for or looking for the venue for the event. First of all, the potential to fulfill the purpose of the events, like I said before. The next are the ambience. So this means that the characters and atmosphere of the place. Like when you hear about the District 7 Bangwick place, you will see that, okay, this is the romantic place, romantic space, and also an ideal place for a couple. Uh, this, the next one is about the location. Location, it means that, so what park what area in that venue will be suit will be suitable to your event? Next one, accept by public transportation. It is quite um, you need to choose uh, some places that quite relate to your concept, and you need to make sure about the public transportation. So if your audiences, if your participants can join it um, easily or not. We will care about the parking lot, so there are enough the space for the parking lot, so people they don't need to uh, find somewhere else you know, for parking their vehicles. Uh, the seating capaci uh, capacity based on the the hues uh, of the event, and then also that means based on the uh, the amount of participants you really want to attract into your event. And uh, there are some other 
uh, things you need to care much is about the features, the cost of decoration, style, and lighting. For example, so um, there are lots of suppliers about the styles and lighting nowadays. But uh, is it um, is it costly when they uh, when, when 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 they move when they uh, supply the the vehicle or when they supply the equipment or the sound and light system to us is very expensive or not yeah right so you also need yeah to make sure about that the cost of labor as well the cost of labor so sometimes you see that for example you join disney on ice disney on ice this is a, an international show so they hand it in full toss stadium and you see that so they uh, the, the labor so they, they hire the the students they hire the student the local students so who uh, who maybe you know, who are living in Ho Chi Minh City now so and then they are quite close to Futa Stadium uh, so that so they can cut down the cost some kinds of cost to them the next one are the logistics of setting up uh, food and beverage facility and the final one is the safety of the event. So here are the things uh, when you develop the concepts about the venue you should consider much. About the event audience, why we need to care about them. You see that so every audience they are quite different so they have different mindset, different viewpoint, different expectation and uh, they they are quite different to each other and different groups so they have different demand for our event and when we also define our concept so we need to care much about who are our target audiences and what are their street it means that's all you will think about uh, their expectation so what if they chance your event so what do they expect uh, what activity uh, will they love joining or uh, what uh, celebrities uh, they are loving and then when you invite these um, celebrity to be in your show so uh, the fans they, they are crazy to buy tickets something like that right so you need to focus much on the event and based on the event so you based on the event audiences analysis you will choose you will choose and select the most suitable activity the most suitable decoration yeah to suit them and uh, the other things, uh, this is about the timings of the event. Uh, for example, Valentine's Day, of course, uh, uh, close up, so they choose uh, the, the 14th of uh, February to join. And if you uh, want to, um, to hold some event in summer, so you need to choose uh, the summertime that is the main timing for your event. Uh, you need to care much about the season, day of week, time updates and duration as well to follow your concept and then to uh, fulfill uh, the demand, the expectations of your target audience as well. Uh, here is an example. Uh, here is a task for you can, um, uh, you can practice and after the, the, the e-learning lesson, you can answer me. So here's the case. So TGM Corporation, so they, they have successfully connected with the millionaire Tony Brovin Tony Robbins, an American, American coach and master of inspiring people and invited him to come to Ho Chi Minh City to have a special speech yeah, right, to inspire the youth uh, generation. This event will be occurred in a stadium within four hours. So here is the, the demand for the event. And uh, your task is that, so let's choose a location to hold this event. Analyze the suitabilities of the event to uh, the venue to the event, give the ideas for the main theme of the event and develop the theme of the event. So these are the tasks for all of you. Before you do the task, so I will give you some clues. So that is quite easier for you to brainstorm and do the task uh, well. So when we talk about TGM Corporation, first of all, you will see that TGM, so they have the, the color. So the green one, the blue one uh, are the main colors of TGM Corporation. So think about uh, this color uh, when you design the, uh, the POSM, design everything, the decoration for your event. 
and it's about the youth. So think about something really fire, something really strong, and uh, think about some kinds of uh, inspiring quote. Yeah, to them. Yeah, to make sure that you follow the concept as well. And when we meet each other in class, so I would like to hear the specific details of your ideas. Yeah, to this kind of task. When you guys have enough uh, information, you yeah, right, to develop your concept. So that is it a time uh, for us, you right, to plan our event. Uh, so we also need. Uh, to think again about the purpose of the event, but uh, in a specific details. So the aims of the year event is can be also improve community attitude to health and fitness. If you care much about the community, um, or you ex want to the organizer want to extend the tourist season, celebrate the historic uh, historical event. Uh, annually or provide entertainment. So it's based on once again, based on the purpose. And when you plan it, you need to uh, consider about the purpose again and please go into details of the purpose uh, before you plan it. And uh, now this is the time for us yeah, to set our objectives for the event to the organizers. Uh, you need to think up about the objectives should be realistic and measurable. Uh, to the organizers, the objectives of the event, uh, for example, you can think that, okay, uh, I'm one of the members of the organizer, so I will set the objectives like that, so the event will be uh, hands successfully. Uh, the target audiences will satisfy 100% to the uh, event, something like that. And when you set the objectives, so you have to you have to put on up the efforts yeah, to get the objectives of your event um, to make sure that so the event is quite successful as your expectation. You have to set the target, the percentage, and the sales. Um, is you measure the objectives of the event. For example, the target one, um, you want to uh, target the, uh, the event participant. So how many percent will you attract them? For example, 100% the ticket sold out. And 80% uh, of the, the audience will be really satisfied with the event. Uh, when they during the time so they enjoy and they, they join the event and the objectives of the event can can be more specifically like size of the audience demographics of audience um, sponsor recognition level sales of sponsor products it depends on the uh, the size this depends on the kinds and the size of the events as well And uh, you need to also I mean, repair an event proposal in the planning part. Uh, in the proposal, so there are some key parts you also need to remember when you're planning it. Uh, event description like event name, event type, location, location suburban or county, date, duration, timing, overview, and purpose, the, the aims of the objective. So this is the uh, the things need to have in the proposal. Um, in the proposal, so you also have some uh, kinds of information relevant to event management, management responsibilities, how how you allocate, how you assign the task you right, to the organizers in the event, the major stakeholder, the agency. So uh, it means that so the stakeholder, when you learned about PR, you will notice that so the stakeholder are the one relevant to our event, is including the government, uh, the suppliers, uh, some kinds of some agency. For example, I mean you uh, outsource an agency for doing the, the PR, the communication, the promoting your, for your event as well. Uh, physical requirement is about the venue, the route for the street event, event map, event layout. Uh, you also need to design the map for your event so that so 
uh, the event organizer can take a look so what area um, what area inside that event so which uh, content is is that areas and also the decorations of that areas as well uh, the audience and the impact the impact is about the social impact environmental impact or economic impact to the society when you hold that kind of event and uh, we also have i would like to introduce some kinds of planning tools uh, when we hold the event first of all this is about the math model we need game chart, we need run sheets, we need organization chart, we need checklist. So here are some examples for all of you. Uh, this is the, uh, first of all, you can see that. So uh, the, the first picture, this is about the, uh, the layouts of the event. This is the stadium. And based on the stadium, you can see that. So where, where will be the, uh, the, the medical support? Yeah, right. In uh, urgent situation and the seat, the range of the seat and also the toilet, the security. So how can you arrange it on that kind of event? So uh, the event map, the event player, so help the organizer, organizer easier yeah, right, to manage on of the space, the venues for the event. The second one is about the here. Uh, it's about the the decoration model is about the design model for example if you hold the event um, in a, uh, for example a gym centers or convention uh, you want you really want display a design like this so you have to have some models designing models yeah to give uh, to the order so that they can imagine um, what's in your idea so here's the game chart example. So in the game chart, so we have uh, two parts. So the, the column here, so, so it's about the, uh, the task you need to do. And uh, this, the, the other part, the another one, this is about the time you will uh, set for the task. So when we uh, take a look on the game chart, so you will see that so, um, the whole timeline, the whole schedules for the event. And here's the, 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 the run sheet, uh, the run sheet, so it's quite easier for people you're right, to follow the event. You can see that, so we have the time, we have the location, activity, responsibility, and some notes. And uh, it's quite easier you're right, for the management, for the people to follow their responsibility, their duties during the running of the event. And... Uh, Here's the fine. Uh, here's the checklist uh, of the event. So based on the checklist, so every moment in the event, so every time in the event, you also need a list to make sure that so you check everything in your work. So you check every single task in your duties as well. And uh, this is the end of the lessons about the event concept. Uh, I really hope that you will spend time on. Um, you, you will spend time on uh, searching for information, for more information yeah, to get the details and don't forget to read the core book uh, to get enough information yeah, for all of you because this is a brief summary. I really hope that so you will understand the, the key uh, features of the, the main uh, event concept and uh, the way we need to do yeah, right, for the planning part and don't forget to uh, complete the task on time. Thank you so much.